Hey guys and welcome back to this Swansea FIFA 17 career mode. Apologies there wasn't an episode up on Sunday. I did record it and the audio file completely corrupted and made me sound like this. So I was not going to use it. It was completely out of sync with the gameplay and it was bad. And I had a family gathering so did not have time to re-record the episode unfortunately. But we're back today. We've got Leverkusen to kick this episode off in the Copper Europe which is essentially the UEFA Super Cup. And then we're going to be getting Season 3 underway for real, basically. The first competitive game as we take on Leicester in the opening Premier League round of fixtures. A game that I think we can win. Um, I put a couple of transfer suggestions to you guys. And you were quite keen to see Tom Davies come in. Obviously, I mentioned that he was loan listed. So hopefully I can get that deal done. I've also taken your comments on board and added a few players to the shortlist. I'm still keen to get Kimmich if I can. Some of you were quite keen to see the likes of Leroy Fair or even Tom Carroll leave the club. We'll see what we can do on that front. Alexis Blinn, not a player that I know a lot about, but he was suggested. So we're going to get the scouts to take a look at him. Tom Davis, as I said, on loan. Deli Alley, too expensive. Kovalenko's on the shortlist still. Justin Clivert was suggested. Now, from the clips that I've seen of him, he's unreal. Obviously, Patrick Clivert, absolute legend. So if he's anything like his father, it would be a great deal for us. So I'm going to scout him as well. So like I said before, this is the game out of the two preseason trophies that I want to win the most. So I've put a much stronger starting 11 out. We've gone to the 4-2-3-1 formation, which has been solid for us. And it's a strong starting 11. It's a very good Leverkusen team as well, though. You look at the attacking talent in this side. Javier Hernandez, we know, can score goals. They've got Volland, Brandt, Bella Rabi in there. Lars Bender in midfield. And a very, very strong defence as well. It's going to be a tough one, this, I think. Oh, Hernandez skips away from his man. He's got Volland ahead of him. Lamos gives chase. That's a great turn. Ball into Hernandez. Good save, Pickford. And the rebound somehow scrambled away from Michael Keane. Hernandez plays it forward. Gets the ball back. He's got another opportunity here. Pickford again. It's unlike Hernandez to miss two golden opportunities. He's normally so clinical in front of goal. Iñaki Williams knocks it forward. Sergio Roberto. I wish that was Woodburn. Definitely got more pace. Here's Dolberg, though. Finds Williams. He's got through. He's played it to Gilfi. Touch and finish off the underside of the bar. Roberto with the rebound. Should have scored that. Low driven shot, mate. Low driven shot. Hernandez. Lovely ball outside. And he makes his way into the box. Wendell with the cross. All keen. Very nearly nodded that into his own net. I'm glad he didn't connect with it. Oh, Dolberg. Lovely footwork. He's got Williams making it. Referee. You cannot blow the half time whistle there. Oh, what a turn from Bellarabi. Oh, he's played it in to Volland. Good shot. Good save. Leverkusen definitely had the better chances. Kasper Dolberg with a chance to run at the defence and stretch his legs. He's not got blister in pace, Dolberg, but he's not slow. He's certainly got enough about him to get away from his man. He's cut back here. Found Roberto. Touch and finesse. Ah, see what I was trying to do. Just didn't really do it very well. Sergio Roberto. Going to dink one over the top for Dolberg to chase. He's got the strength to get past the defender. Can't... Oh. I don't even know what I've done there. That is so bad. I can't even explain my finishing. It did bobble, though. No, no, it definitely didn't. Why did he hit it? I, I can't even explain. Oh, Hernandez has got past his man. Pickford comes out. Hernandez shoots. What a piece of goalkeeping yet again. Bellarabi's played it forward. Leverkusen are all out attack. You can see they've got men forward here. Pickford cannot deny them this time. Oh, it's the striker who's come on in place of Hernandez, who was probably the most threatening player, but substitution's paid off here. 12 minutes to go. That could be the trophy for Leverkusen. We've got to go up the other end and make, make sure we score now, but Pickford come rushing out, as he often does. He normally, normally to great success, to be fair, but it's a cool finish. Got it all to do. What a... That's unbelievable. Oh, Pickford's come and changed his mind. And very luckily managed to get something on it. He had a big swing and a miss. Just a complete air shot. At the other end, Dolberg could release Woodburn. Has he got the stamina? I don't think so, somehow. Although, he's still there, Ben Woodburn. Good effort. Just tried to bend it in. Deep into stoppage time. Woodburn finds Williams. On to Kessie. Last chance. Oh, that's it. Straight at the goalkeeper. That must be full time. Bellarabi's away. He's put a good cross in. Could be two. That's it. Full-time whistle's gone. Leverkusen have won. I'm a bit gutted, but on the whole, they definitely, definitely deserved it. Look how pleased they are. Told you it is a tricky trophy to win. So we've made subtle, very subtle changes to the sliders and lost both of our opening pre-season games. I think it could be a tough one for us, but certainly much more realistic. We did have chances of our own in that game, but 
I think Leverkusen definitely deserved the win. Really disappointed not to win that one, but congratulations to Leverkusen and Lars Bender, who's going to lift the trophy into the air. Congratulations to them. So despite not winning that game, we were awarded £3 million prize money, which is great. Obviously, compensation just for getting there. We've also received a transfer offer as well for Leroy Fair. Now, I was a little bit against selling him, but in the comments, you guys were like, if it gets Kimmich in, sell Leroy Fair. So that is exactly what I'm going to do and hopefully put in the bid for Kimmich. So we did originally stall this deal. It was all agreed, it was all ready to go, but we didn't have enough money to do it. Obviously, with the sale of Leroy Fair, we will have. So 40 mil, hopefully, they'll accept it again. I'm going to have to do a bit of a wage adjustment, but that's fine. Bit of a budget adjustment. Bid's gone in. So they have accepted it again, which is great news. Remaining wage budget, minus seven grand. They say we can't afford it. Surely not. Surely not. Let's just, we'll offer it to him. We'll offer him crucial first team player because that's what he wanted last time. Hopefully he'll agree to this. There you go. We can. We can adjust the budget. Whew, got a bit panicky there. Let's do it. Here's the contract we've offered. Sign it, Josh. Confirmation that Leroy Fair has gone to Southampton. So we can definitely, definitely afford that deal. 3.8 million added to the budget. So before we jump into this game against Leicester, let's just have a look at some of the bigger deals that have gone through in this transfer window involving some of the other clubs. We'll sort by value. 76 and a half million pounds. Harry Kane has joined Manchester. There's been some massive deals. Harry Kane to Man U. Oscar has moved again, this time from Bayern Munich to Barcelona. Laporte has moved from Bayern Munich to Manchester City. Bayern Munich turned into a selling club or have they brought in some amazing players? Belotti, who we were interested in signing, has gone to Arsenal. So we're going to have to watch out for him this year. Sadio Mane, big loss for Liverpool, big blow. As he's gone to Real Madrid, £34.5 million. Pounds. Little bit of a bargain because he has been absolutely superb. Liverpool also sold Matip. He's gone to Spurs. Sizable transfer fee. So Liverpool got about 70 odd million to spend, as you can see. Balde Dial gone to City. Christian Benteke left Crystal Palace. Blow for them. He's gone to Atletico Madrid. That's a big deal. There's been some huge, huge, huge deals gone through. So here it is. We're at the Liberty. Glorious sunshine. The opening day of the Premier League season, really, really important to get off to a good start. So I've gone for a 4-2-2-2 formation for this one because I think we're threatening out wide, but I also want to create chances. That's why I've gone with the two up front. Dembele unlucky to be on the bench. I've put the new boy Nano in for his first, well, full debut, basically. Leicester have gone with a standard 4-4-2, and even though we're in the third season, they've keep, kept hold of their big-name players. They've still got Vardy, still got Mahrez. They've added Fernandinho to this already decent squad. It's going to be tougher than I imagined today, I reckon. Let's go. Jamie Vardy playing wide on the left today. Not his usual position, but I'm sure he can be just as effective. But, oh, surely that's not a foul. If they score from this, I will not be happy. Mares two deliveries. Put it in. It's headed away. Although we haven't really got it clear. Mares picks the ball up on the edge of the box. Good footwork. Riyad Mares. Good hit and a good save. Jordan Pickford. Counter-attack might be on here as he's released it to Williams. He's going to knock it onto Dolberg, who is literally by himself until Lozano arrives. He's got there, Lozano. Good touch. Good hit and a good save. End-to-end -end stuff in the uh, opening 15 minutes. Corner. Outswinger from Gilfie. Schmeichel comes and punches clear. Roberto with the volley. Doesn't strike it cleanly. And everybody just decides to look at it. Nano looking to stretch his legs. He's very pacey. Um, welcome to the Premier League, mate. Cheers. He stayed down as well. I hope that's not serious. Made an absolute mess of this free kick, but we've still got possession. And Byram is in a dangerous position here. Can he stand the ball up? He can. Dolberg. Oh. Good defending from Hernandez. Oh, Gilfie, that is lovely. Lozano's gone. Lozano's been found. Can he cut inside? He can. Gilfie's still forward. We need someone on the right. Here is someone on the right. It's Nano on his debut. Oh, what a goal. And what a start to his Premier League career. Really good finish. I don't know why he's not celebrating. Did he used to play for Leicester? I've got no idea. But half an hour in, Swansea won Leicester nil. Credit to Lozano and Gilfie Sigurdsson for their involvement in that move. But what a strike across the keeper. Here is Sergio Roberto. We've got our tails up now. Lozano making a forward run. Lozano's been found. He cuts back. Could make it two here. Oh, he's just tried to bend it in that far post. It's just gone wide. That's a really weird goal kick. And Nano has got there and lifted it over Schmeichel. But lifted it wide. What a chance. Don't think he was expecting it, though. You can see there he just on the stretch managed to... Nah. It's not a great finish. It's actually a corner. I didn't even see the touch that Schmeichel got on that. Corner's whipped in. Sam Byram attacks it. We've got another corner. This one's fizzed in towards the near post. Dolberg is there, but Mendy 
We'll get this clear. Here's Riyad Mahrez. Thank you. What a terrible pass. Grimaldo with the throw in. We're approaching half time. Don't forget we lost both of our pre-season games. But we've been very solid in this first half. And Gilfi from distance very nearly doubled our lead. Leicester coming forward looking for an equaliser. It's a good ball. But Lemos in the right place at the right time to clear it away. Can we create anything else? No, we can't. Half-time whistle goes. So far, so good. We've got the lead thanks to that debut goal from Nano. Kasper Dolberg. Nice little ball to Grimaldo. To Nano. Nice turn. He's rolled it into the path of Williams. Touch and strike off the crossbar. Oh, Slimani. Oh, that's a good ball. musa has got the wrong side of the defence. Sam Byram trying to come across. He's gone for the near post, Musa. Surely would have been better going across goal. Either way, it's a good save from Jordan Pickford. But Leicester showing that they've still got that threat in them. They've got plenty of pace in attack. Oh, mistake from the defender. Here's Nano. Kasper Dolberg looking to wriggle free and create some space, which he's done brilliantly. Finds Williams. He stands it up. Man arriving is Gilfie Sigurdsson. And on the volley, he's made it 2-0. Big fan of that. Nice intricate football in the box and a decent finish from Gilfie. Danny Drinkwater coming forward now off the bench. He's gone on a really good run here, Drinkwater. He's hit the shot. I don't know how we quite allowed him to get all that way, but Pickford with the save. Poor defending. You can see Danny Drinkwater driving at the defence with real purpose there. It's a good hit as well. Oh, Casper. Seen reds given for them, but he's injured Jamie Vardy. It was a nasty tackle. Slimani, nice turn. Mares, even better turn. He's in on goal here. Pickford comes out. If that was on Mares' left foot, very different story, I think. Leicester really having a good go here. Mares skips through. We're trying to bring him down. We have brought him down, but Slimani will pick up possession. Mexed are throwing everybody forward here, Leicester. And Musa has found space, and he's got them back into this game. Not quite sure exactly how long's remaining. 12 minutes. They've got time. We need to be solid. I was doing the high pressure here. You can see it got really congested. Everybody surrounded the ball, which left Musa free at the back stick, and he just drove the ball past Pickford. So just making a double change, trying to secure this lead. Sergio Roberto's going off, as is Nano. Really good that he's had an instant impact. Renato Sanchez and Kessie coming on. We're going to a 4-2-3-1 formation. Here's Jamie Vardy. Leicester really having a good go. Vardy's wriggled free. Oh, Danny Drinkwater makes a right meal of the shot. Slimani has got possession. Leicester literally piling on the pressure. But defending to do. Grimaldo can't do it. Ball could come into the box. Lemos heads it away. And it's cleared only as far as Drinkwater. We hit the shot on the volley. Scored an amazing volley against Liverpool earlier on in the season, if you remember. But Pickford was equal to that one. Sanchez. Oh, good ball. Chance for us to kill this game off. Do we keep it in the corner? Or do we go for another goal? You know me. Sanchez. Oh, I just tried to pick out Dolberg. Not good enough. Although, we're going to win possession back. Oh, Sigurdsson. Lovely nutmeg. Lozano. Kessie. Gilfi lays it off. Byram. Touch and hit. Oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post. That would have sealed it. It doesn't matter, though. Full-time whistle goes shortly after. Really, really pleased to get off with the win. We had some uh, shaky moments there at the end. I think on the reflection of play, we definitely deserved it, though. We dominated the first half. Second half was much more even. Certainly the last 20 minutes, we were under all sorts of pressure. Nano, goal on his debut, as I said. Really, really pleasing to see. Gilfie on the score sheet as well. Hopefully, he can be in uh, the same form that he was last year. But it's finished Swansea 2 Leicester won. You can see some of the other big teams dropping points. United have been held, but they were away to Everton. That is a tough game. And Manchester City held at home to Southampton. They had a poor season last year, and they've already dropped points. And Moussa Dembele obviously was on the bench for that season opener, saying that he's not, you know, he's not happy with his role at the club. That's something I don't, I don't want him to be unhappy. We're going to have to rotate them. Speaking of City, they've put in a bid for Lozano, probably trying to sort their problems out. He's not going anywhere. He's one of our best. So that is a sizable offer. But he's only going to get better and better, Lozano. No deal. This, I'm very pleased about. And I think a lot of you guys will be as well. You were keen to get him in when uh, I mentioned it in the previous episode. He's very expensive, but he's only 23 and he's already 84 rated. I think this is going to be a great bit of business. Welcome to the club, Josh. Welcome. So I'm going to end that episode on that positive note. Kimmich joins the club, which I'm very happy about. This is the table, although don't be too much into it. It's nowhere near taken shape yet yeah, only one game in let's just have a look some of the big boys dropping points Chelsea were beaten 
Um, you can see uh, Manchester City in mid-table along with Liverpool and Manchester United and Everton all picked up just the one point. Arsenal and Spurs, obviously they'll be there or thereabouts come the end of the season, are up there in first and second place. But great bit of business there, getting Kimmich in. Nano with a debut goal. A um, couple of positives from this episode. Disappointed not to win the Super Cup, but you cannot win them all. If you're wondering why it's so dark in here, by the way, bulb's gone out in my bedroom need to get that fixed but be sure to drop a like if you've enjoyed this episode subscribe if you haven't done so already and i will see you next time